Hi guys, found another box full of junk. Looking in it, I think this video is going to be for Frankie or System Skynet. Got some connects stuff there, but in here, this is radio controlled uh, it's not actually Lego it's a Lego clone I don't know if all the bits are in there that's clearly the steering isn't it? but Frankie wanted to get a Lego Technics kit and make it hobby grade radio control. Well, with a bit of luck, I might have enough bits here to do something radio controlled. Because this was a radio controlled car. In fact, it was two radio controlled cars. motor got another motor I don't think we got the back axle oh no got a steering wheel what's the Bit for the steering. Oh no, no back axle. I have to go upstairs and do a bit of digging. Oh, that looks. No, I don't think that's the back axle. I expect there's a proper little gearbox. Right, I'll be back in a few minutes. It's not in that bit, is it? No, that's the Technic stuff. Uh, Technic connects. What else have we got in there? Capsella instructions. Radio control gear. That's a cap seller. That's Merry Christmas. <laughs> Got any batteries in it? No. And some more cap seller stuff. I bought a capsella kit in a charity shop and that's all that was in it. There wasn't any of the electronics or the rest of it. It was somebody dumping stuff on the charity shop with all, without all the bits. Anyway, I will go upstairs see if I can find something we can use for the back axle. Right. Going through another one of my junk boxes, I think we found the original gearbox. So I'll put the camera back down. I've obviously used it for something else. I reckon that goes in there. It's the right colour, isn't that? How does it fit? Don't know. 
but I reckon that's the right one because those are the wheels for that. That is the back wheel and that fits on there. That's another one. That's another front wheel. So, can we figure out how that would have gone in there? That way round. Yeah, I think we're uh, we're looking about right. Apart from the fact the battery's just about to run out on the camera because I've been waffling for so long. Well, I've been using it for other things as well. Okay, uh, I better go and change the battery on the camera. Right, well, we'll be able to tell what time of day it is because these shadows are moving around. Uh, it's about half past three in the afternoon. So, right, looks like we've got a gearbox. I've obviously wired up for something. And we've got two wheels. detail too much at the moment. I'll just check we've got enough bits. By coincidence I had a question on the original video for these cars which I think it was 2016 I bought them. I bought them brand new. They were reduced in a sale but I did buy them brand new in a shop as opposed to second hand in a charity shop. Anyway, the question was, do I still have the instructions? And the answer is no. Uh, or at least I haven't seen them anywhere. So if I did have them, they've been stored away. I have to tidy up those wires, haven't I? Frankie wants me to make it hobby grade. We really don't have a lot of space, do we? Let's have a look, see what it should look like.
that's going to go up under there. Yeah. Some bits going across there somewhere. Well, those look like they're supposed to be an engine. That's front end somewhere. Remembering we've got two cars. May have bits from more than one kit here, of course. Let's turn that off for now. I can worry about that later. Let's try and sort this out. something going across there to link all that up surely I'm doing this, as you can probably see, practically blind. I've got a vague idea what it looked like originally. Maybe I got that on too soon. pictures on it to give me some idea I could 
go and look at the original video I did, couldn't I? Right, that's what I'll do. I'll go and have a look at the video, see if I've got any idea what this should look like. Well, there we are. I had to go and watch my old video to see how to put it together. Um, it is actually a tiny bit different to the proper build. I played around with the front end a little bit just to make it look a bit prettier, or at least that's what I thought. It shouldn't be a six-cylinder motor. I've given it a couple of extra bits at the front there. Um, so yes, this is the... Um, oh, what was it called? Hang on. Right, I've written it down so I can't forget it this time. It came from the works, which is a shop. Um, mainly stationary they do, but they do do toys as well. It's called Plastic Blocks RC Crossfire Car. I guess they call it Plastic Blocks to avoid any copyright issue with Lego. And it was 2016 I bought it. So, I've put it together. We haven't got the steering motor in there. We have got the drive motor in there that at some time in the past I'd modified to use it on something else. So it's got an external battery rather than the battery box in there. So it did occur to me I could just put a battery on it, set the steering over and see if we can get it to go round in circles just to see if it works. So I've got a little, little LiPo battery. Oh, yeah, it started off straight and then it, sorry, it started off going round in a corner, round in a corner, round in a curve and then it straightened up. So I'll put something in there to jam the steering over. Right, a bit of blue tack under there just to stop the steering from moving. I'll try that again. The other thing is it falls apart every time I grab it. Right. I don't think we're going to stop it doing that. Right, going the opposite way. So the motor works anyway. And the question was, could I make that hobby grade radio control? <laughs> oh dear. I don't know is the answer. Well, I think one thing I'd have to do is glue all the Lego together so it doesn't keep falling apart every time I touch it. Another bit's fallen off there somewhere. Don't know where that went. Oh there it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
wonderful stuff, Lego, isn't it? Or, sorry, we shouldn't say that because this isn't Lego, this is something else. Plastic blocks. Yeah, alright, well I'll have a think about making that hobby grade. Oh. I mean, yeah, I can stick a servo at the front there somewhere to give us the steering. And easy to put an ESC to control the motor, drive motor. The problem is there really isn't any space to put a receiver or a battery. Because let me take that out, there really isn't much left in there. Even if I cut that out, there's nothing, there's no space underneath it. So, yeah. I think that might be episode two. Episode one, I've managed to find the bits and put it back together. I will put a link in the video description to the original build video for it. In fact, if I can find the original files, I'll remake the build video because it's one of those videos that I did a fast forward on and you really can't follow it. It wasn't supposed to help you how to make it, it was to show you what I can do when I do it fast. So it was a six minute video instead of a sort of 30 or 40 minute video. So I'll have a look through my archives, see if the old video is still there. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.